Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from scrapbookingwithme.com and Me Crafty Scrapper here on YouTube and Instagram. And today is a little bit different of a video that I have done on my channel. Today is a um, Christmas in July YouTube hop video. And there are 18 different um, YouTubers that are involved in this hop and I am listing all of their channels in the description box below so make sure when you finish my video to go and check out all of their paper crafting videos this is a group that I am in on Facebook um, we are all paper crafters and we are all youtubers so um, you need to check out all of their videos. We are doing today on July 2nd, 2022, a uh, YouTube hop. I keep wanting to call it a blog hop. A YouTube hop. And uh, the theme is Christmas in July. So that's why my thumbnail is different than all of my other thumbnails. So I hope that caught your attention. And I hope that if you are not a subscriber, if you've come here to my channel from one of the other uh, great YouTubers that are in this hop, welcome. Hi, hi. How are you? And uh, I am Melina. I'm from Alabama and uh, I love all kinds of paper crafting. Most all of my paper crafting is junk journal related, um, but I do all kinds of paper crafting. I love making cards. I love making scrapbook pages. I love working in traveler's notebooks, and um, I also uh, love to make all kinds of things with scrap paper. So um, I have a weekly challenge on my channel here that um, pops up on Thursdays and it's all about scrap paper and how to use scrap paper in new and different ways to make all kinds of nice stuff. So I hope that you stick around, subscribe, give me a like on this video and leave me a comment too. Um, let me know if you've visited the other YouTubers that I've listed in the description box from the paper crafting YouTubers group that I'm on on Facebook. Let me know if you have visited their channels. Today I am making, and this can be something that you make all during the year. It does not have to be Christmas related. I'm just going to decorate it Christmas themed. These are the envelopes that I tea stained with my tea staining session last month. And I thought this would be a really good video to use these and um, we can use them in our, what I'm going to make in the project. We can use it in our junk journals. We can use it um, in snail mail, uh, gift giving, um, all kinds of ways. We could actually use this on a scrapbook page too if we wanted to. Uh, we could, if you have a family, oh, I just thought of this. If you have a family that you want to send cards to, and I mean, you could layer this up more than just three envelopes, I guess, if you wanted to, uh, you could put their cards in each one of the envelopes and then make yourself a large envelope and, um, gift this to them all at the same time. All the family members get their own little cards. That's an idea. But um, I thought that this would be a really cute way to add um, some type of journal embellishment to our journals that um, might be Christmas themed. And like I said, you can make these without the Christmas theme, no problem whatsoever. So this is my oversized journal that we're working on right now on my YouTube channel. We've still got to finish this one up, but I thought that I would show you this journal is a little bit um, wider than our regular junk journals, and these would fit nicely on the pages of this journal. Uh, we've got that page, then we've got this white page here. They would fit on that one also with a little room to spare on either side. Um, you could all also let it hang off or you could use some more narrow envelopes. I have some wider envelopes here that I'm using, but you can use whatever size envelope you would like. 
Now, what we are going to do is layer these envelopes and you don't want to have them too um, far down on each envelope because if you make it too tall, you're not going to be able to put it in a journal if that's what you're wanting to use it in. I have just grabbed some uh, Christmas themed papers and stickers and uh, cut aparts and fussy cut stuff, uh, a few digitals too, um, from my cabinet back behind me. And um, a lot of it is Coco Daisy stuff, but then I just have some regular old cardstock that is Christmas color, traditional Christmas colors. So I have that sitting, setting aside to add to this. Um, you can use regular white envelopes too. You don't have to dye them. You do you, however you would like to do this project. That's how you need to do it because it's all about what makes you happy in paper crafting. You don't have to be um, or do what other people do in paper crafting. So this is a triple stack envelope pocket and we're going to see, I think we can get six slots out of this. So you're going to have a pocket here, you're going to have a pocket there, another pocket here, so that's one, two, three, four, five, and then if you make it compact enough, you could get a sixth one here by not gluing it all the way down onto your journal and just having a little tuck space here too at the top. So isn't that wonderful? We're just going to get some liquid glue and you're going to start with whatever envelope you can decorate beforehand if you want to. I have just found that it's easier to assemble your base first and then start decorating. And there goes my computer's fan and nothing I can do about it. It um, is not something that I like. I wish it didn't have to do the little fan thing. But, you know, if it doesn't do that, then we have problems and I can't make videos. So that's what you're hearing in the background. Okay, so I've just got a little bit of glue on three sides here, that envelope, and then I'm going to line this envelope up. And I'm gonna go up pretty high on this, but of course keep this part open. So I'm gonna put that envelope down, and then I'm gonna turn it over and make sure we're even Stevens, okay? So this one needs to come over this way just a little bit. That looks good to me. We're going to go straight across. Make sure I'm going to put my wire back here so maybe y'all don't <clears throat> jiggle around too much up there. Okay, so there's our first envelope lined up. Now when you fold this down, this flap here should just barely overlap on this flap, okay? And then same thing on this back envelope, the very last one. So glue top and sides, no, not top, <laughs> bottom and sides. <laughs> And then you're wanting to get about the same difference in height there on this one as you did on this one. So that looks good to me right there. We're going to flip it over and see if anything needs to be moved. Maybe move that just a touch that way to get it all straight. I love this. All right, so then we fold that over and fold that over, and we've got just barely, you know, a little bit 
hanging over to the next flap. So here's our three tier top flap envelope pocket. Now we can start decorating and something that would look really cute on each one of the flaps is doilies. So if you've got some doilies you can cut just a little bit off of a doily like that and you can get two out of one doily as far as for the top of your envelope. Now you don't want to cut your envelope when you're cutting your doily straight across. So if you want to put your doily on a trimmer, go for it. I'm just one of those, hey, I've got this right here at hand. Let's go ahead and cut it. I like that. I'm going to go ahead and put that down and then I'll trim off the top as I need to. So let's put some glue on the parts of the doily that we can get glue on without it mushing out everywhere, of course. And then line that up where you would like it. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry and then I'll come back and trim that off. Okay, and Let's do this other one. We might as well, I'm going to do one on each flap and then we can decorate on top of the flaps too. So get me another one out. Let's go ahead and do this bottom one here. And I'm going to get a pencil and go along the top of this flap so I'll know where to trim it. Okay, I've gotten all of my doilies on there and now I'm going to decorate this bottom envelope, just the bottom part of it. I'm just making pencil marks where I need to cut my beautiful paper that's left over from last year's, one of last year's Christmas themed Coco Daisy kits. Love this paper. I love it because it's not that cutesy little, you know, Christmas themed stuff. I'm not much into cutesy when I do stuff. I like vintagey looking stuff. So I'm going to round these corners right here. And all of my tools and glue, adhesive, all that kind of stuff I got from our shop, scrapbookingwithme.com. So if you've not shopped with us, we would love for you to. We have a little sale going on right now if you're watching this video same day as I post it. I'm putting a little bit of walnut stain oxide ink around the edges. I'm going to glue this down and make sure not to get it in the envelope. Because <laughs> if we get it inside the envelope, then it's not a pocket anymore now, is it? Okay. And you'll just have to measure your envelope because I'm sure you won't have the same size that I do. Okay, making sure that that is not inside of it and it's not. Oh, I love that paper. Pretty, pretty stuff, Coco Daisy. Y'all do a good job. Isn't that pretty? Love that. We could even add a little something else on there if we wanted to. Um, let's do a little bit of fussy cutting.
for these flaps. And then, oh, we could even decorate the inside of the flaps too. Let's see how difficult that's going to be. I don't think it'll be too bad. Let's get some paper out that we want to use for them. Ooh, I like this script paper. We could do that. Measure for one and then cut enough for the rest. It's kind of wild on the other side, so let's just cut that or mark it on this side anyway. I'm going to do come down just a little bit so I might get a little bit of a mat so I'll cut it just a little shorter so I can get that but we'll see if this works Go around the edges okay so there's my cut line I'm going to cut this one out and then put it on top and cut the others. Okay, so they fit perfect the way they are, and I want that little bit of a um, mat so I'm going to trim off just like a I don't know sixteenth of an inch or less it's just <laughs> barely there that I can't even get it out of so let's see if that is what I'm I want in there a little bit more all right, yeah, that gives me just enough mat at the top that I want. So I'm just going to ink these around on the edges. I'm not going to uh, decorate down in this because we'll put stuff in it. And you'll be able to see that out from the pocket. So I'm not going to decorate on the inside of the envelope. We're going to make some tags and things to go inside these. So these would be great ephemera holders put into your journals. This would also, I think, I think it'll work. I'm going to show you in a minute if it does or doesn't. But I think these would make great inside cover pockets for your journals. So let's get that one, that oversized one that I'm working on. Yep, you would probably want to come up, bunch them just a little bit closer, but that could work as inside pockets, inside cover pockets. Look at that. And this is an eight and a half um, tall journal. So yeah, that could work on the inside like that too. Ooh, I love this. All right, I'm going to glue in my inside little flaps that I've made, inside covers for them. We've got this cute, cute, cute printed vellum that kind of looks like a little sweater that I thought would look really nice on these flaps over the tops of the doilies, but not covering them up completely. That's cute. Let's do this last one. Yep, I like the reindeer in the middle and doing that like that. Oh, yep, I like that. And I'm going to put that down with some double sided tape because I don't like how liquid glue looks on the back of them. 
I just think that double-sided tape works so much easier and I'm not really worried about it being in center center I just want it on there because it's cute because some of it will get covered up with a die cut or something too Then I've got these digitals that I had printed out and didn't use all of, so I'm going to fussy cut out a few things from that, just like that, and then just arrange them how I want them. I really like this branch there, got that there maybe, this little red bird there maybe with a little cluster of flowers over there and then another little birdie friend this way maybe I like all of that so I'll go ahead and glue all of that down and then I'm going to ink the edges of my flaps too with my walnut stain ink and then all that's left is filling up our pockets so I'm gonna open up my flaps I've got just some paper folded over like little cards and I'm going to start with this one this envelope and then fold that down and then this one in the center envelope down this one in the top envelope and get that flap up after I tea stain these they wanted to not be open they wanted to, <laughs> they wanted to just lay flat and not have anything in them so if you're using regular envelopes you're not going to have that problem okay and then I've got these little uh, three by four cards that I thought would look super duper cute in the little tucks in between if I can pick that one up got a green side and a maroon side that's cute okay so we've got everything filled up it's a nice sturdy piece and then if you're not going to glue this down in a journal, if you're going to send this snail mail, you could put one big piece of decorative paper on the back. And then even right here, if you wanted to, put some uh, white notebook paper or um, any kind of paper on there. Some crinkly craft paper and write in a white gel pen on the back if you wanted to. But you could cover the entire thing, not just each envelope if you wanted to do that. But I really love how this turned out. Uh, the paper from Coco Daisy, of course, um, helped out a lot. This is from the Cranberry Rose collection from, I believe it was last year. Um, they sell out really quickly. I'm sure there's not any of that left. But if you wanted to go to Coco Daisy's uh, website, cocodaisy.com, uh, and look for cranberry rose you might could find just some little bits and pieces but I'm not guaranteeing you that <laughs> but I really love how this turned out and we have all kinds of little pockets and you could even decorate on the inside if you wanted to yeah I love it I will give you as usual some still shots at the end and y'all have a great day thanks for stopping by and don't forget to go and visit all the other great creative paper crafting youtubers in this hop y'all have a great day god bless bye y'all